Hello everybody, this is String and we're back to kick off round 6 for Group C. The another intense group in this tournament. And this could be a pivotal round for all these guys in this group. So, let's have a look at our fight card for this session. So, you can see our main event. It is a big main event at the two sides in the bottom half of the table at the minute. Silver Knights going up against Mr. Ferry. Silver Knights are level with some guys in the top four, but uh, they don't have the head-to-head, -head, so... Big match for both of them too. Defeat for Mr. Ferry ends their chances of getting out of the group. A defeat for Silver Knights will leave them on the brink. All to play for. But before that, we have got Kaz going up against Dino Smash. In theory, Kaz could seal top spot with a win today. We also have Cayman Rider Chimera going up against Team Argentina. Victory for either of those two will secure a last 32 spot. But at first, we have got... A Ravgram, all but eliminated, going up against already out in the van, searching for their first win of the tournament. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing a Ravgram, we have got the Blitz type Acrocanthosaurus. Because it's Blitz type, it will go for two crits. Well, a Ravgram has a very, very slim chance again out of this group. They need basically two 3 0 victories. Anything less, and they're out. So they're probably 90. 90% out. In the blue corner for Navan, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. Navan already out of the tournament, just searching for a win. <laughs> Can they at least finish on a high? Yeah, this has been a really unexpected, tough tournament for them. You know, especially compared to last year, where they had a lot of things, a lot of stuff go their way. It was sunshine and flowers, but this time it's just been doom and gloom. And well, it would be it would be insane if last year's runner-up doesn't win a match in this tournament. Okay, there's a hit, but uh, <laughs> it's a stuffed toy. Okay, so let's try uh, Blitz number two. Ah, no Blitz crits from Ravgrim this time. Okay, it's a tie. Oh, that's a crit. That's a biting win. Big shot from Navarn. Even with a tight disadvantage, this is still going to deal damage because the Aloe Atrox hits really hard. Yes, I hope I haven't done it again. <laughs> I think my microphone is going, in all honesty. Oh, that time's going to do it. Well, that was quick. <laughs> and yeah, that confirms it. Aravgrim is out of the tournament. No, even if they win this match, they're still going home. They won't have enough points to gain our top four, but... I, I think they kind of ex knew, accepted that. Right, coming in next for a Ravgrim, we've got Super Kamarasaurus, Awake the Mode on 3. Mm -hmm. uh, what beat field is an arid field, so no Earth types in this matchup, I believe. Oh, there's a tie. The Kamarasaurus does have the Ocean Panic, which we do see here. <laughs> okay, there's the uh, shockwave removal effect. Right, that's one. Okay, so that will mean that Kamara Source will go for scissors. Okay, that's a tie. Another ocean planet. Okay. If uh, move removal takes place here, I will generate the moves like normal because it's consecutive. But that's two ocean panics from the Ravgrim then. I'm hoping the Atrox dies. Oh, damn it, it didn't. Okay, yeah, it did take place, but because it's consecutive, moves will be generated like normal. Which is good news for Navan, because they do get the next hit. And that does mean that the Kamarasaurus, well, they'll have the awake chance for an awakened hit. Oh, that's a big hit from Navan, that. Okay, the Kamarasaurus will still get a chance in an awakened hit, but... Okay, the Ocean Panic is gone, so no more Ocean Panic. A tie will give him a chance to get an awakened hit on the T-Rex. Oh, but Navan gets the hit! And I think the damage is set, so even with the Awaken mode activated, the Kamarasaurus is going to go down. Massive hit from Navan. 
<laughs> well, if it wasn't over for Ravgrim then, it is now. <laughs> right, coming in third for Ravgrim, we got Alpha Ranosaurus, and oh my god, it's got tight disadvantage. Navan gets a crit, yeah, you could win 3 0. I'd be crazy. But no, I think one hit from a Ravgrim will finish off the Atrox, but yeah. Is Navan finally going to get their first win of the tournament? Okay, it's not a 3 0 win. Atrox does go down. Okie dokie, coming in next for Navan, we've got Super T Rex Awakened Mood on 2. I don't think they've had a single Awakened hit with this thing in this whole tournament, which probably explains why they haven't won a match. Among other reasons. Okay, there's a hit though. One. And there's another hit, and it will be time for an awakened mode. Can Navar get the win? They've been desperately looking for. Oh, that's a tie. That triggers a two platoon crush. No! And instead, it's Alpha Ranosaurus getting off a happy pudding. I think this is the first time we've seen a food move this entire tournament. Healing up a little bit, stopping that awakened hit. I think the death file get triggered, and it does. But the T-Rex's HP is half, and the Toot the Toot Crush has been triggered as well. Okay, no death fire from the T-Rex. I think Navan hasn't got a single one of them off either. And a Fawn Whip coming in here. This is a good little fight back from a Ravgrim. It's Alpha Aranosaurus, not going down without a fight. Okay, there it is. That should seal the deal. Navan is finally going to get a win in this tournament on the sixth attempt of asking. And it's going to be a bonus point win. I mean, it doesn't change anything. They're still out. And a Ravgrim is joining them. <laughs> so, yeah. Not much to say about that match. Unfortunately for a Ravgrim, they didn't get... Well, they lost, so they're out. And yet, yeah, both of these guys are going out of the group stage. But at least Navan finally gets a win in this tournament. Right, on to our next match. Oh! Get the fan out of my face. <laughs> Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Cayman Rider Chimera, we got Paki Rhinosaurus. Okay, we don't have any secret dinosaurs, so no train advantages here. Victory for Cayman Rider will put them. Well, I put them a point off top spot, I believe. A bonus point win will put them level with Kaz at the top. In the blue corner for Team Argentina, we've got Magnosaurus. Team Argentina enjoying a debut, to a good debut tournament so far, and a win for them would put them two points above Kaz and t and go top. Well, for the time being, anyway, and would probably secure last 32 should other results go their way. But yeah, this is such a tight group. Hard to get anything decided this early. Oh, that's a good shot from Magnusaurus. We've seen that before. It's tight. I mean, these matches could go either way in, in this group. So many matchups have just done a 180. It's crazy, huh? Hi. This is a solid start from Team Argentina. Coming out the blocks again. Ooh, but Paki Rhinosaurus responds. Cayman getting their first hit of the match. And it's not a bad one. An electric charge coming in as well. Oh, that's a crit. And with the electric charge buff, I think this crit is going to... Oh, definitely be top. Scatman Spark. <laughs> Massive hit from Cayman. Matusaurus came and he went. <laughs> right, coming in next for Team Argentina, we got Carnotaurus. Well, it was a good start from Team Argentina, but Patty Rhinosaurus got that big crit and a good hit with the electric charge. Oh, 
Let's see what happens. Okay, Pappy Rhinosaurus does indeed go down. Carnotaurus gets the hit there. Hmm, now this could be the matchup that decides who wins this match because coming in next for Cayman Rider, we do have Omega Eocarcarium. Not only does it have the Omega armor, it's got the type advantage over that Carnotaurus, which could be big in this match. Bam. <laughs> so this could be a good opportunity for Cayman Rider to open up a good lead on Team Argentina. Tie, but I do believe the eel car does have heat eruption and he's got the tie recovery, so ties will suit it down to the ground. And all the more while, that Omega bar at the bottom is filling up. That's another tie, no heat eruption though. Ooh, that's another tie. Wearing down this Carnotaurus very nicely. And that's another hit. A Dino Yeetage. That's going to might be lethal damage for the Carno. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not. And the Dino Illusion has been triggered. Now that could be interesting. Because a tie will be lethal. And well, it is indeed a tie. And yeah, look at that all of a sudden. And the bar is almost full. Which is to make matters worse for Team Argentina. Okay, a saving grace coming in third. They got Saltosaurus. It's got tight advantage. I believe it's got Ocean Panic as well. So it's not all over. And we have seen what this thing can do. So I wouldn't count Team Argentina out yet. So you do feel they need to get some hits on the board and need them quick. That's not good. Okay, it's Omega Armor time. Well, to make matters worse for Team Argentina, they're going to need multiple hits to kill this thing. And all Leo Carcaria needs is one. Can Cayman get the bonus point win? It's a tie. Which means they live to fight another day. Oh, ooh, that's a Dino Stuffer. That could be a big Dino Stuffer. Saltosaurus surviving with the skin of its teeth. Oh, and it gets a crit. Okay. And another hit. Right. Sorry about that bloody phone call. <laughs> right, back to the match. Oh, we killed it! Well, massive opportunity missed from Cayman. Right, coming in third for Cayman, we got Spinosaurus. Well, can they at least get the win here? Because Team Argentina really wrestled back momentum in this match. I thought they were cooked with that Omega armor activated, but no. Somehow, they survived. Crazy. But the dino stuff that is gone. So do bear that in mind. Oh, that's a big crit. Well, they could have done with that two seconds ago. They would have got a bonus point win. But they'll take it in another Oh, jeez. Okay, Aqua Vortex has been triggered. I think not let getting the Omega Phoenix off has kind of provoked Cayman Rider yet. Okay, that's a tie, but remember, Aqua Vortex is, is in effect. So the Saltosaurus gets this hit. Big hit that could be. I mean, you could have got Ocean Panic off as well, which might have been better. But a hit's a hit. And it does remove all of Spino's moves. Oh, they, well, they survived the Omega Phoenix. They did well to do that, but... Just ran out of gas there. The Spino came in, finished the job, and it's Cayman's victory.
But it was a good fight back from Team Argentina, though. Right, on the match number three. Okie dokie. In the red corner, representing Kaz, we have got a Jaboria. Well, we all have seen how effective this Jaboria has been in this tournament. It's got that big Hydro Cut that we know how hard it can hit. Interesting, this is a good field for Dino Smash. They'll have terrain advantage with the Eocarcaria. Right, in the blue corner for Dino Smash, we have got Taurosaurus. Dino Smash enjoying a good tournament. A win here would put them top of the table. Well, it would put them level... Yeah, it would put them top. Because they have the head-to-head -head over Cayman Rider. But a win for Kaz would secure a last 32 spot. And it would give them... And it would uh, open up a five-point gap on Team Argentina. I think they would all but secure top spot in this group. With a win. And they would definitely get it if they were to win here and Silver Knights loses in the next match. Oh, hello. We got an Ocean Panic. This is a good start from Cats. Oh, I know Taurosaurus is going to get wet. In more ways than one. Oh, the Shockwave effect activating there is going to remove a move. Not good for Dino Smash. Right, so we go with Scissors. Okay, it's not too bad. Type advantage will probably spear the Taurosaurus. And it... Well, I was saying it did, but that Aqua Javelin is going to finish it off. And this is a very good start from Kaz. Okie dokie, coming in next for Dino Smash, we have got Omega Eocarcaria. Now again, it has terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit in this match. And Dino Smash is going to need it. That could be a good hit as well with this moveset. Get those buffs going. <laughs> They'll get Dino Smash back in this match. Although it will trigger the Hydro Cutter, so that is a bit of a problem. That's another hit from Joe Boria. Well, it's all cats so far, but yeah, look at that. One defense buff, and it only does that much damage. Satai. It's another type. The Omega armor is filling up, so that's something that Kaz does need to bear in mind. Oh, that's a hit. That's a crit. That's going to max up the attack and the defense boost as well. This is big from Dino Smash. Oh, and he takes out the Jobaria as well. Convenience. Right, coming in next for Kaz, we've got Ferrazinosaurus. Well, Kaz has had most of the hits in this match. Those two shots from Dino Smash, I think, do give him the upper hand here. And the Omega Bar is filling up fast. One Omega Phoenix could end this match in Dino Smash's favour. So do bear that in mind. Tie. Another tie. But again, Dino Smash won't mind this. It fills up the bar. And there's another hit. That puts Dino Smash in the lead and it fills up the Omega Bar. So you know what that means. Big moment in the match. Right, let's see how this goes. Oh, <laughs> oh there we are. Okay, that's not too bad. It's wasted on the ferry. The ferry would have gone down anyway. That's not too bad. The Omega Phoenix is wasted. Yes, Dino Smash has a good lead. But that could have been on Kaz's third Dino and then it'd be bonus point win for Dino Smash. That's not too bad. It's not good, but it's not too bad. Well, the lag was pretty bad. But that is a big hit from Dino Smash. Right, coming in third for Kaz, we've got Alpha Kazmosaurus. Well, given that the Eocarc is buffed up 
in attack boost and defense boost is going to be a long way back for Kaz in this match now. <laughs> Ow. I like punched my desk. <laughs> Yeah, Kaz is going to need a lot of hits just to down this Eocarcaria. It's high. Okay, there's a hit. But yeah. <laughs> and now look how much Jame Dino Smash does with his hit. Oh, wow. Losing bonus points secured. But from the way I'm looking, I don't think he's going to be losing this match. Like, okay, it's a crit. Needed that crit. Oh, what we got here? An electric charge, that'll help. Okay, can they at least deny Dino Smash the bonus point win? Oh, that's a tie. Oh, it's filled up the Omega Bar again. <laughs> I mean, not that it matters, because... Oh, there, yeah, there it is. Oh, no, it's Dino Stuffer. That could be a huge Dino Stuffer. I was about to say, it's Dino Smash's win, but that Dino Stuffer stopped Dino Smash from winning. Actually, have we ever seen someone get two... like, hits off in the same match? I don't think we have. Maybe it has happened before. Well, it's going to happen this time. It is Dino Smash's victory. And it's a bonus point victory to put them top of this tape of this group. And well, provided Silver Knight doesn't win, that also secures a last 32 spot for Dino Smash. Eocarcaria is smashing his, the opponent to bits. Yeah, that was... When this thing gets buffed up in a def defensively and offensively, it is so hard to kill. So, yeah, unfortunate for Kaz, but that's just how it goes. Now then, on to our main event, which is a massive match. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Silver Knights, we have got a Uteraptor. Silver Knights currently outside the top four, sitting on 12 points, but a win would put them ab above Team Argentina into that top four. Move them up to 15 points, like with uh, Cayman Rider. In the blue corner for Mr. Ferry, we've got a T-Rex now. Well, if Mr. Ferry loses this match, they are out. Anything other than a win will eliminate them from the group stage. Mm -hmm. Ideally, they need a bonus point win, because if they, even if they do win here, they will probably need a bonus point win to get in that top four. So there's a lot at stake in this main event. The good news for them, they've got type advantage here, and they do get terrain advantage in this match, courtesy of the Alpha Iguanodon. So that's something to bear in mind. It's a good elemental power there from Silver Knights. Ooh, that's a good hit as well. It's a good start from Silver Knights. But we all know with T-Rex, one crit can change everything. Oh, but if, oh, is anyone getting the crits? It's Uteraptor! Well, Mr. Ferry hasn't landed a shot yet in this match. And it's all Silver Knights. Right, coming in next for Mr. Ferry, we've got Alpha Iguanodon. It does have terrain advantage. It will get the next hit, and it's going to be a crit. And, he, and they need this hit, in all honesty. Totally dominative of the Uteraptor thus far. Okay, let's see what this roll lands on. Do, do, do. It's always a gamble, this kind of move. 
Okay, that's not too bad. Second best case scenario. Oh, but Uteraptor still pining on the hits. This is really going not going to plan for Mr. Fairy. Type. They need to get a hit here. Another tie. Okay, there's a hit. Even with the elemental power buff, the type advantage, I think this will still be lethal. Mr. Fairy finally getting a shot. Yeah, only just though. <laughs> Right, coming in next for Silver Knights, we've got Penticeratops. We all know how good Penticeratops can be. Bum, 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 bum. As a hit, though, Pentaceratops getting the first shot. Elemental power coming in again. It's another tie. Is that going to be lethal for Iguanodon? No, it's not. And it does get off another super impact. Okay, Mr. Fairy kind of clawing back into it, but still got a bit of catching up to do. Shot there from the Iguanodon. Oh, there's another hit. Mr. Ferry coming back into this contest. Okay, that's a tie, and that tie does down the Iguanodon. Right, coming in third for Mr. Ferry, got Packy Rhinosaurus. It's gonna have tight advantage over Silver Knights' third dino, bear that in mind. That could help them win this match. But they're still playing catch up because the Pentaceratops is still alive. Two. Oh, that's not good. That's a big crit. That is disaster for Mr. Ferry. Uh, is this going to be the end of them in this tournament? Oh, jeez. Okay, that was a lot of damage. And yeah, I think that's it. And it's a bonus point win for Silver Knights. And that knocks Mr. Ferry out of the tournament. Well, I thought they were going to come back into it, but that Pentaceratops, man. That big crit really, really nail put the nail in the coffin. Right, we'll have a look at that table see where everyone sits and we'll end the session well groups this group is mental look at that the top three on 16 points nothing to separate them i can't separate them by virtue of the fact that dino smash hasn't played silver knights yet and that's obviously the final round in this group so yeah top spot's going to be decided and then we have cayman rider chimera on 15 points and Team Argentina out of the top four on 14 points. It's all going down to the... Obviously, the standout match is probably going to be Dino Smash against Silver Knights. Kaz takes on Team Argentina, which in itself is going to be a big match. And Cayman Rider goes up against Mr. Ferry and Aravgrim, I think. And then Nirvan take on Mr. Ferry, but they're, all, they're both out already. So that match won't really have much significance. And yeah. Mr. Ferry or Avgrim joining Nirvan going out of the group stage. Still what to play for in this group between these five. Round seven is going to be really, really fun. But we'll save that for another session. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, you know the deal. Until next time, ta-ta.